slow jam on me. Guys, welcome to another video. This video is brought to you by Heyman's. Not really, but that'd be cool, right? A while ago, we got a request from Walter on Facebook um, to do something with slow gin. So this one, Wally, is for you. Slow gin is made with gin, go figure, and then slow berries, which is not very common in North America. Not sure why, actually, I've never, I've never had one. So apparently it's in the same family as plums. So that's cool. And today we're gonna be making a few different cocktails. We're gonna go with like a stronger sipping, more liquor forward cocktail. We're gonna go with a nice, like more easy drinking, fun in the sun cocktail. All these are fun in the sun cocktails, but this other one's a little bit more fun in the sun. And then finally, we might have like a little bonus one cocktail, you know what I mean, for special occasions. So make sure you watch till the end. Everybody says that. Cocktail one. We're gonna go with an ounce and a half of slow gin. You want this on the forefront, that's slow gin cocktail. So we're, we want that to be a little bit more of the prominent flavor. For this one as well, I'm gonna be using some rye. Canadian Club 12 year is my go-to. It's pretty tough to open though, so. And we're just gonna go with an ounce of that. Here I've made a lemon thyme simple syrup. Just kidding, a honey thyme simple syrup. Here I've made a honey thyme simple syrup. We're gonna go with three quarters of an ounce. And if you've never made a simple syrup, it's really easy. In this case, I did equal parts um, honey and water, and then maybe about eight to 10 sprigs of thyme. I just kind of snipped some from the plant outside and uh, just let it reduce. We're gonna go equal parts lemon juice, and then we're gonna go four good dashes of some Kinsip orange bitters. I'm just gonna add ice to shake. Oh no. Hello, back again. Okay, we'll give it a good shake. Mmm, delightful. And a fine strain. Look at this sweet move. So I don't know how you use tongs, but this is one of my moves. I'm gonna grab myself a lemon. Lovely little twist. Obviously, if you were smart, you would have saved some time for uh, part of the garnish, but I did not do that. So here we are. Slow ride. Mm. It's citrusy, it's bright, it's really good. Cocktail with number two, guys. Walter enjoys his vodkas. So this one is specifically for you, pal. We're gonna start off with some fresh plum. So I'm gonna get uh, get my knife out, uh, give this a quick cut, twist, pull that out. And I'm gonna actually muddle some of that. Give it a good old squish. Squish, 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 squish. Oh, do you see my forearm muscles right now? Oh, rippling. Bro, one ounce good vodka, as my good friend Barefoot Contessa would say. Shout out. Now we're gonna do one ounce of slow gin as well. Oh, that was a disaster. Can we cut that out? Okay, we're just gonna give it another quick muddle. Now we're gonna use a little bit of lime juice. Three quarters lime. of an ounce. I just like the brightness of the lime. I don't know, there's something a little bit more refreshing to me than, than lemon. So you have that acidity, but you get also a little bit of brightness from the lime. Here we go. Sam, I'm gonna, I hate to tell you this, but I'm gonna need some more ice. You could just be a deer. Highball glass, fill it with ice. We're gonna fine strain this. So you're not straining out little plum bits with your teeth. And now, uh -oh. <laughs> I can MacGyver this with a little, little, a little man these guys are tough eh? okay let's top that off with some ginger beer i like the fever tree you can obviously use it's really nice natural flavors you can also obviously use whatever your preference is got some leftover plum slices from what i muddled earlier what i sliced we're just gonna send those into the glass this is called the wally g money 
Let's take that again. <laughs> and here we have this mathematician. Here we have the slow and steady wins the race. Oh man, that's wonderful. The ginger beer is really nice, subtle. Lime, bright, plum, fresh. Vodka also in there. Cocktail number three, bonus cocktail. Good thing you waited till the end. Literally majority of you are not gonna even be seeing this because people only watch for about 30% of the video, so. Thank you so much for those of you that are still here. We're gonna start with some, some strawberry here. Little slice up. We're just gonna muddle that up. Beautiful fresh strawberry. I'm working such a confined space. I feel claustrophobic, Sam. I'm just gonna put that there for now, okay? Okay. We're just gonna give this a quick model, guys. All right. First video, we use that uh, honey thyme simple syrup. We're gonna use that again. Hold yep. on, first okay. cocktail, not first video. Oh, sorry. First video, we use that honey thyme. <laughs> Perfect, I'm sorry. <laughs> first. <laughs> First cocktail, I use the honey thyme simple syrup. Um, and seeing as you have it already, might as well use it again, right? So I'm just gonna do a half ounce of that. A half ounce of lemon juice to balance that out a little bit. Here I've got some soju. This here is a Korean, like a distilled Korean beverage. Um, traditionally made with rice, but sometimes barley or wheat. So it's gonna add a little bit of a different element. I'm gonna use half an ounce, uh, three quarters of an ounce. Obviously these recipes can be changed to your liking. I we say that in I, the video. Well, yeah, I, I gotta give them a disclaimer. We're gonna add some ice. We're gonna give this a really good shake. Are you guys ready for this? This is where things get a little bit sexy. What? We're gonna put this in a flute today. We're gonna fine strain it. Yeah, anytime now, pal. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we're just gonna to top off with a little bit of soda water. Perfect for a little date night, special occasion or Tuesdays, as I like to call them. We're just gonna do a little strawberry garnish. There we go, the perfect slice. Cheers. <laughs> Let's go in for a taste. That's so good. That's probably the best one of the three, actually. You should just do this for every day, every night's date night. You know what I mean? Guys, thanks for watching. There is three fantastic slow gin cocktails for you. Um, if you're new to the channel, check out some of our other videos. There's uh, cool ones. So that's awesome for you. You're gonna love it. Also like and subscribe and comment down below which of these you'd like to try or would never try. Appreciate it. See you again. You never, I'll never see you guys, but you're gonna see me again. See me again.